from around the globe. It's theCUBE, presenting enterprise digital resilience on hybrid and multi-cloud. Brought to you by IOTAHO. Okay, now we're going to go into the demo and we want to get a better understanding of how you can leverage OpenShift and IOTAHO to facilitate faster application deployment. Let me pass the mic to Sabita, take it away. Uh, thanks, Dave. Uh, happy to be here again. Um, guys, uh, as Dave mentioned, my name is Sibita Davis. I'm the Enterprise Account Executive here at IOTAHO. Uh, so today we just wanted to give you guys a general overview of how we're using OpenShift. Yeah, hey, I'm Noah, IOTAHO's Data Operations Engineer working with OpenShift. And I've been learning the ins and outs of OpenShift for like the past few months, and I'm here to share what I've learned. Okay, so, so before we begin, I'm sure everybody wants to know, Noah, what are the benefits of using OpenShift? Well, um, there's five that I can think of. Uh, faster time to operation, simplicity, automation, control, and digital resilience. Okay, so so that in, that's really interesting because uh, those are the exact same benefits that we at IOTAHO deliver to our customers. But uh, let's start with faster time to operation. By running IOTAHO on OpenShift, is it faster than let's say using Kubernetes and other platforms? Our objective at IOTAHO is to be accessible across multiple cloud platforms, right? And so by hosting our application in containers, uh, we're able to achieve this. So to answer your question, it's faster to create end user application images using container tools like Kubernetes with OpenShift as compared to like Kubernetes with Docker, Cryo, or ContainerD. Okay, so, so we got a bit technical there. Um, can you explain that in a bit more detail? Uh, yeah, there's a bit of vocabulary involved. Uh, so basically, containers are used in developing things like databases, web servers, or applications such as IOTAHO. What's great about containers is that they split the workload, so developers can select their libraries without breaking anything, and sysadmins can update the hosts without interrupting the programmers. Uh, now, OpenShift works hand in hand with Kubernetes to provide a way to build those containers for applications. Okay, got it. Uh, so basically containers make life easier for developers and system admins. So how does OpenShift differ from other platforms? Well, this kind of leads into the second benefit I want to talk about, which is simplicity. Basically, there's a lot of steps involved with when using Kubernetes with um, Docker, but OpenShift simplifies this with their source to image process that takes the source code and turns it into a container image. But that's not all. Uh, OpenShift has a lot of automation and features that simplify working with containers, an important one being its web console. Here, I've set up a light version of OpenShift called Code Ready Containers, and I was able to set up our application right from the web console. And I was able to set up this entire thing in Windows, Mac, and Linux, so it's environment agnostic in that sense. Okay, so I think I see in the top left that this is a developer's view. What would a systems admin view look like? It's a good question. So uh, here's the uh, administrator view, and this kind of ties into the benefit of control. Um, this view gives insights into each one of the applications and containers that are running, and you can make changes without affecting deployment. Um, and you can also, within this view, set up each layer of security, and there's multiple that you can prop up, but I haven't fully messed around with it because <laughs> with my luck, I'd probably lock myself out. So, so that seems pretty secure. Um, is there single point security such as you use a login or are there multiple layers of security? Yeah, um, there are multiple layers of security. There's your user login, security groups, and general role-based access controls. Um, but there's also a ton of layers of security surrounding like the containers themselves. But for the sake of time, I won't get too far into it. Okay, uh, so you mentioned simplicity and time to operation as being two of the benefits. You also briefly mentioned automation. And as you know, automation is the backbone of our platform here at IOTAHO. So that certainly grabbed my attention. Can you go a bit more in depth in terms of automation? OpenShift provides extensive automation that speeds up that time to operation, right? So the latest versions of OpenShift come with a built-in cryo container engine, which basically means that you get to skip that container engine installation step and you don't have to like log into each individual container host and configure networking, configure the registry servers, storage, et cetera. So I'd say uh, it automates the more boring kind of tedious processes. Okay, so I see the IOTAHO template there. What does it allow me to do? Um, in terms of automation and application development, so we've created an OpenShift template which contains our application. 
This allows developers to instantly like um, set up a product within that template. So Noah, last question. Speaking of vocabulary, you mentioned earlier, uh, digital resilience is a term we're hearing, especially in the banking and finance world. Um, it seems from what you described, industries like banking and finance would be more resilient using OpenShift, correct? Yeah, in terms of digital resilience, OpenShift will give you better control over the consumption of resources each container is using. In addition, the benefit of containers is that, uh, like I mentioned earlier, sysadmins can troubleshoot the servers without like bringing down the application. And if the application does go down, it's easy to bring it back up using uh, templates and like the other automation features that OpenShift provides. Okay, so thanks so much, Noah. So any final thoughts you want to share? Yeah, I just want to give a quick recap of like the five benefits that you gain by using OpenShift. Uh, the five are time to operation, automation, control, security, and simplicity. Uh, you can deploy applications faster. You can simplify the workload. You can automate a lot of the otherwise tedious processes. You can maintain full control over your workflow and you can assert digital resilience within your environment. So guys, thanks for that. Appreciate the demo. Um, I wonder, you guys have been talking about the combination of IO Tahoe and Red Hat. Can you tie that in Sabita to digital resilience specifically? Yeah, sure, Dave. Um, so why don't we speak to the benefits of security and control in terms of digital resilience. At IO Tahoe, uh, we automate detection and apply controls at the data level. So this would provide for more enhanced security. Okay, but so if you were to try to do all these things manually, I mean, what's what does that do? How, how much time can I compress? What's the time to value? So, um... With our latest versions of IOTAHO, we're taking advantage of faster deployment time um, associated with containerization and Kubernetes. So this kind of speeds up the time it takes for customers to start using our software as they'd be able to quickly spin up IOTAHO in their own on-premise environment or otherwise in their own cloud environment, like including AWS, Azure, Oracle GCP, and IBM Cloud. Um, our quick start templates allow flexibility to deploy into multi-cloud environments, all just using like a few clicks. Okay, um, so, so now I'll just quickly add. So what we've done in IO Tahoe here is we've really moved our customers away from the whole idea of needing a team of engineers to apply controls to data as compared to other manually driven workflows. Uh, so with templates, automation, pre-built policies and data controls, one person can be fully operational within a few hours and achieve results straight out of the box uh, on any cloud. Yeah, we've been talking about this theme of abstracting the complexity. That's really what we're seeing as a major trend in, in this coming decade. Okay, great. Thanks, Sabita, Noah. Uh, how, how can people get more information or if they have any follow-up qu questions, where should they go? Yeah, sure, Dave. I mean, if you guys are interested in learning more, you know, reach out to us at info at iotaho.com to speak with one of our sales engineers. I mean, we'd love to hear from you. So book a meeting as soon as you can. All right, thanks guys. Keep it right there for more CUBE content with IO Tahoe.